on today's show, Stig's Garage, Netcar Pro, and Ferrari Virtual Academy. This show is sponsored by Sim Raceway. Hi, and welcome to Inside Sim Racing, episode 89. I'm Jessica Lopez, and we have our very own Stig here in honor of some new downloadable content, which we just received this morning. We have the Stig Garage Car Pack for Forza 3, which comes with three ferocious vehicles, the Mercedes-Benz SLS AMG, the Lexus LFA, and the Koenigsegg CCX. Now these three vehicles and Stig's Garage Car Pack are not available as downloadable content. You must purchase Forza's newly released Ultimate Collection. Retails for about 30 bucks and with that you get Stig's Garage Car Pack, seven additional vehicles which are the Plymouth Huda, the Jaguar D-Type, Lancia 037 Stradale, Audi R8 FSI Quattro, Audi TT RS Coupe, Audi R15 TDI, and the Porsche 550 A Spider, and that's the one Sean loves. On top of that, Ultimate Collection purchasers will also receive all of the DLC that has been released since the game's initial debut in 2009. Now for those of you out there who already own Forza 3 and have been purchasing the DLC as time has gone on, you're probably a little bit upset about this because I imagine you've spent well over $100. For those of you who don't own Forza 3, this is a steal. $29.99 and you get Forza 3, all of the DLC, and 10 additional cars. Now, take a good look at our stick here. Please do, because at the end of the show, we're going to have a contest. We have three prizes to give away. We have three codes for Stig's Garage, which is not available as DLC for the public and can only be received by purchasing the Ultimate Collection. So, once again, take a good look at our Stig and more details on the contest at the end of the show. Next up, we have our top simulated cars of all time, which is sponsored by R Factor Central, the home of the one click install. And today we have two new cars to put on the list. One of those comes from Netcar Pro, and it's the newly released Formula KS2, which is very fast, by the way. So here you go, top simulation cars of all time. All right, well, it's been quite a long time since we put some new cars on this list. <laughs> yeah. We actually kind of got bored with it a little bit, but and we kind of ran out of cars. Well, and we've been waiting for an excuse, really. And we got a couple good excuses here. Yeah. Uh, starting with the Formula KS2 by Netcar Pro. And it's a Formula car, it's pretty obvious, open wheel car. But at first we were like, what is this? Yeah. Mirroring. <laughs> yeah, what car exactly is it? It's not a Formula One because it's not that much power. So it's we... fast, but it's just not that kind of power. Fastest car in Net Car Pro, by the way. Yeah. So did a little research, started looking. It's basically a Formula Two car. Right. Uh, so what was the power, horsepower? About 400, 400 horsepower. I mean, that's a lot of horsepower in a lightweight open wheel car. Yeah, we don't have the, the power to weight ratio and all that stuff. But basically, Formula Two car. And this thing's amazing. Oh. It's so much fun to drive. It is. You know, they've made some changes in this 1.2 update to Netcar Pro, including this new car. Mm -hmm. Some additions, you know, some changes to the tire model, and it's just awesome. It is. This is, I mean, out of the box, this is one of the greatest sims you're going to have a chance to drive. And when I was scoring this car in particular, it was a lot of my feelings towards Netcar that carried over to it because it just, it, it's such a fun and driving experience. It is. It is, no doubt. Uh, one of the best tire, if not the best tire models, um, out right now. Yeah. There's a good feeling as far as where the rubber meets the road, Absolutely. it seems. It yeah. seems like there's really rubber there, there's really air in the tires, yeah. and that, you know, you're getting that flex, and it's just great job. It, and, and that carries over into the immersion. And for me, more than anything else I can think of, of driving, I forget I'm driving a sim. I mean, when I'm using the triple screen setup and have everything dialed in, I mean, it's so realistic feeling. It's just, it's overwhelming, actually. Yep, very immersive. Uh, when we first booted this up, there was no skins, just all generic colors, mm -hmm. and I'm sure a licensing issue. They can't be putting the <laughs> Formula 2 paint skins in, so... Which is probably why it's not called a Formula 2. Exactly, <laughs> the KS2. KS Kuno, 
I'm not even going to try to pronounce the second <laughs> KS. word. KS. I'm just going to say simulation. So Kuno simulation, uh, which is what KS stands for. Anyway, I just did a search, found a paint pack. We got a Jägermeister car right there. In Jäger orange. Yeah, and it's the uh, Radiator Springs Forum. Those guys have a, a car pack already out, so you can download those, so you're not looking at the uh, default skins, which is really cool. And it actually bumped our score up uh, as far as the top sim car goes. Yeah, now you can race it like a real race series. So speaking of which, why don't we give the scores? I got them right here, and we're going to find out if it's going to bump the LFS Formula BMW. BMW. Yeah. All right, starting with physics. 19, sounds 13.3, models 9, cockpit 8 and a quarter, fun factor 9 and a half, immersive 9 and 3 quarters, force feedback realism 9 and 3 quarters, damage 5, skins 4, default set 4 and 3 quarters, total 92.3, which puts wow. it fifth on the top sim car list. Incredibly well deserved fifth. And you know, a couple things to point out you had the, the immersive and the force feedback. And those two numbers are about as high as I think we've ever had on the, well, the physics as well. Yep. And, and that, again, just gets back to that driving experience we were talking about. Yep. So that's going to wrap up uh, this car, Formula KS2 by Net Car Pro. Great job, Net Car and Kunos. Yep. Or great job, Kunos, <laughs> on Net Car 1.2. Uh, people are going to ask why we weren't putting the Ferrari on it. No damage. Not really many skins or any skins. So. Yeah. It's yeah. going to suffer. It, it, it's going to, maybe we'll put it on later, but uh, not today. <laughs> so next up, we've got the F191 mod. Different Formula One. Yep. And we're going to be running the car that Nigel Mansell right. ran in that season, which th this mod is just incredible. So hold on here. We're going to put up the 91 mod by F1SR. All right. Just like I mentioned, the 91 F1 mod by F1SR. And this is the Williams Renault RS3 that was driven by Nigel Mansell that year. Car, you just got to remember from childhood, if, well, if you're our age. Well, that <laughs> year, Ayrton Senna's car. I mean, that yeah. was just, that was a, just an incredible year for Formula One. <laughs> Absolutely. And this is one of those mods that's really a collective effort. You have a whole group behind it. I mean, they call themselves F1SR, but you've got uh, a lot of different people involved in car models, physics, skins. I mean, just a collective effort and you've got so much in it so like you said we're only going with that one car but you've got a whole bunch of cars to choose from the whole it, season the whole season yeah and some of the cars you have different levels because they got better throughout the season yep upgrades inside the download they also have a pdf file with a physics guide and that's going to take you through all of the different models the changes throughout the year the type of setup things that you're going to need to know when working on that car i mean real thorough effort. Yeah, I think there was three, just on this car alone, there was three different upgrades yeah. throughout the season. Up, horsepower upgrades. Yeah, and aerodynamic. Yeah. I mean, some of the cars were bombs in the beginning of the season and got really good throughout it, so you've got those variations built into it. Yeah, a friend of ours, Butch Davis, actually had a hand in this mod. I remember he actually showed us some behind-the-scenes stuff on this mod, like, two <laughs> years ago, and it's great to see that it finally came out and, and that they did such a great job on it. And yeah. speaking of which... Let's give the scores. All right, give the scores. First up, physics, 17. Sounds, 13.8. Models, 9.5. Cockpit, 9.5. Fun factor, 9. Immersive, 8 and 3 quarters. Force feedback realism, 7 and 3 quarters. Damage, 4 and 3 quarters. Skins, 5, default set, 4, total, 89, which puts it 19th on the list and bumps the Nissan Skyline from Aww. R Factor. Wow, that's impressive. It's coming in in the top 20 after the list has evolved so much. For me, these cars, uh, I, we use the word ferocious a lot. After driving it, I thought to myself, it's amazing anyone lived through the season. These cars are so fast and so dangerous and just explode on contact and... I guess that's kind of my memories of Formula One back in the day as well. Speaking of exploding, the damage model is just incredible on this. I mean, the parts just fly off it. You know, one of the only weak parts I'd say in this mod was um, force feedback was yeah. kind of on the weak side. Uh, and I honestly didn't take as much time as I should have to dial it in. Uh, I was looking for a little bit more of a plug and play, but it was still really good. Yeah, there are some real feel settings in that guide, but I did read where some people preferred the strong settings and, you know, you just got a real heavy wheel in it. That's one thing I'll say about it. Yep. 
Um, and the physics were, were pretty damn good. I mean, 17 yeah. or so on the physics, I, it, it definitely didn't stuffer there. It could have done a little bit better, but it, it, really good job. I think that's taking our factor about as far as it's going to go. Yep. So that's going to do it. Top simulation cars of all time, sponsored by R Factor Central, the home of the one-click install. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time. Since today's show is all about updates, we got another one for you here, and this time, NetCar Pro. And I got Darren. Welcome to the show, Darren. Thank you. Driving NetCar Pro back here. And this title is for the PC and is known for their outstanding physics. And they've made some enhancements to the title, including the addition of a new car, the Formula KS2, which you saw just a moment ago on our Top Simulated Cars segment. We are going to go over all the new enhancements to NetCar Pro with you guys. Here they are. If you're not familiar with NetCar Pro, it's probably the closest thing we have in sim racing to a flight simulator. NetCar has one of the most complex virtual tire models in existence today. It includes visible dirt, tire wear, and flat spots that influence the car's handling, as well as a fully interactive cockpit and realistic clutch model where you can actually stall the car. NetCar has slowly been progressing since its debut at a fair held in Lanciano, Italy in February of 2006. Version 1.0 was then released for download on April 10th of that same year. Since then there's been a few new cars and tracks as well as improvements to the user interface, gameplay and or physics. In this latest patch, version 1.2b, the most significant change is the addition of the Formula KS2. We're assuming it's like a Formula 2 or GP2 car. And like we mentioned in this episode's segment of Top Sim Cars, the guys at Radiator Springs have come out with a skin pack for it as well. Make sure to pick that up at radiators-champ.com. The new KS2 definitely deserves its slot on the top five of Top Sim Cars, and it's the best car in their fleet now, adding more than twice the horsepower of the Formula Target. Known for its very realistic tire model, it feels great in the KS2. In addition to the KS2, here's some of the other changes they've added in version 1.2. Improved tire model, improved differential model, improved multiplayer contact response, which I've witnessed firsthand and it's very good, improved loading times, they've added a live lap time report for multiplayer races and real time performance meter, controls overlaid now show brake and throttle activity during replays. On top of all the upgrades they've made recently, NetCar boasts some of the best force feedback delivery systems in sim racing, and they've also enhanced their sound delivery as well. One of the things NetCar lacks is a large variety of cars and tracks. The track part is starting to be rectified by the sim racing community since NetCar introduced their track builder. Stay tuned to Inside Sim Racing early next year where we go in depth with NetCar Pro and show you where to get tracks, skins, and fine leagues to race in as well as get all of your equipment dialed in. To check out one of the most underrated and underappreciated racing sims, head over to netcar-pro.com and you can try out the demo or take the plunge and purchase a full license. As I'm heading out, check out this hot lap I ran at a version of Aosta in the Formula KS2. Hey, I'm Dylan Hart Jr. and you're watching Inside Sim Racing. GamePod, the ultimate race rig for those serious about sim racing, puts you in the driver's seat with all the controls at your fingertips. 
be number one on the road, in the race, in the game. GamePod, the choice of champions. Continuing on with our update show from the same guys that brought you Netcar Pro, Kunos Simulazioni. If I'm saying that incorrectly, please let me know how it's pronounced. We have Ferrari Virtual Academy, which was originally released with one car and one track, the Ferrari obviously, and they have since released two additional tracks, the Mugello and Nürburgring. We're going to go ahead and give you guys a closer look at those two tracks and the updates to Ferrari Virtual Academy. Here they are. Today's top story is sponsored by RaceSimCentral.com, sim racing news and forums since the year 2000. A while back, we talked about the Ferrari Virtual Academy sim that had just been released. If you missed it at the time, we learned that there was only one car, the Ferrari F10, as well as only one track, that being Fiorano, the world-famous Ferrari test track. Despite being extremely light in content, the focus of the sim was hot lapping and the challenge of beating Felipe Massa, with top winners in the competition winning prizes or even a trip to Marinello to take part in the Ferrari Drivers Academy. Well, since that time, they have gone on to update the sim, including adding support for triple screen setups and more importantly, two more tracks added to the mix. The first new track to come at us was Mugello, Constructed in 1973 and opened in 1974, Mugello is named for the region of Italy that it resides in. The track holds many different events over the years such as MotoGP and Formula 3000. It is also used as a test track for Formula 1 teams with Ferrari being the ones who use this track the most. Mugello is 5.245 kilometers long with 15 turns running through the hills of Tuscany. This recreation of the track was done with a combination of laser scanning as well as high resolution photos to guarantee accuracy to the highest levels. This includes capturing all of the elevation changes that make Mugello a fun and challenging track to drive. This version of Mugello includes every braking marker and every curb that exists in real life. Now the competition phase for this track has already ended and here is the top of the leaderboard. The next track to come to us is no stranger to most sim racers, that track being Nürburgring. The GP circuit of Nürburgring might be the finest example of old school heritage of racing with one of the most modern racing facilities on earth. The track is 5.148 kilometers long and consists of 16 corners. Nürburgring is the host to just about every racing series in European racing including Formula One, Superbike and DTM. Again, Ferrari Virtual Academy has laser scanned this track along with taking endless amounts of high resolution photos to bring us one of the best versions of Nürburgring that I've ever driven. You will swear you hear the German fans screaming and the Ferrari flags waving in the crowds. And this is the track that will be part of phase three of the FBA competition. You will be challenged to beat Giancarlo Fisichella's lap time. The competition ends on December 23rd, so you don't have a lot of time to beat the blistering time set by Giancarlo of a 130.1. And it will take better than that to top the leaderboard as people have already bettered that time by over a half a second or quicker. Let's take a ride with Giancarlo Fisichella in the FBA Ferrari F10 around the beautiful Nürburgring.
And if you're interested in trying out Ferrari Virtual Academy for yourself, head over to www.ferrarivirtualacademy.com. You can purchase the new tracks for about 10 euro each or the entire sim with all three tracks for 25 euro. That about wraps up this episode of Inside Sim Racing. Hope you guys have enjoyed it and all of our updates. Now on to contest time. It's been quite a while since we've had a contest on the show. And this time we want all of you out there to guess who our SIG is. It can either be Tommy, Darren, or Sean. Head on over to our website, InsideSimRacing.tv and click on the banner and tell us who you think our SIG is. And I'll gather all of the correct entries into a bowl of correctiveness. And on the very next episode of Inside Sim Racing, I will pick three winners to win Stig's Garage Pack for Forza 3. Good luck to all of you guys out there and thank you for watching. Checker flag is out and so am I. Racing rigs provided by GamePod, the choice of champions. Go to gamepod.co.uk.